Good morning. Hey, uh, today I have a very important message for you. I'm here at Sam's in uh, uh, Beaver Creek, Ohio, and uh, we're getting, I'm getting my tires rotated. I've got a guarantee. Uh, but I wanted to talk to you today about uh, a very important topic, um, what repent means. Uh, it says that you must repent and be uh, baptized for the mission sins, but um, that's what Peter says. We find out later on uh, he gets in trouble and called uh, one of the, I guess, started the, the uh, uh, Judaizing group in Galatians 2. A lot of people don't like to talk about that. Of course, he was forgiven uh, by Christ for doing that. But anyways, getting to uh, repent, what does that mean? Well, it means change. Uh, uh, people, there are people who's, who I've encountered who said, well, I asked Christ to forgive my sins, but I didn't make him my Lord yet, uh, so I need to do that. Uh, well, there's a little bit of confusion there, uh, and that's why I want to discuss it. Uh, it seems in the uh, early, late 70s or early 80s, there was uh, lordship and salvation versus grace only. And uh, uh, it seems, and I say it seems, that it's alleged that grace only did not incorporate lordship in the salvation experience. But lordship of salvation does. Well, uh, this caused a lot of confusion. And really, the, to, to receive the nature of making Jesus Lord is when you sincerely ask Christ to forgive your sins. That's all that's required. I mean, asking God to forgive your sins in Jesus' name. If Jesus is God, but I didn't want to get you confused there. I can't put him in the image of the one Godhead. I can't. I'm a human. But anyways, um, you... Uh, you don't want that people are making it really hard to come to, to to have eternal life, and it really upsets me. Uh, they've got these camps. Uh, I hate these camps of uh, of separating the lordship of Jesus Christ and your salvation experience as a separate thing. It's a must, but uh, that's not true. See. The person who brought change, even though you need to change, is God himself. We had nothing to do with it, absolutely nothing. All we do is ask God to forgive our sins in Jesus' name. That's it. Then the nature of the repentance that God gives, imputes to us, uh, is, is what happens. Now, having this... The new convert has to be shown how to how to expand into the environment this uh, this essence in them this substance that God has given them this gift which gives them the right to go to heaven. Now, some people, if not trained, are they're very limited in their growth in Christ Jesus. So we have to, they have to be, we have to be very careful and get them going and saying, getting them to say, God, what is your will today in Jesus' name? When they go into the Bible, they need to ask God's will for them in Jesus' name. And, you know, to establish a prayer without ceasing, ceasing for the day, God, I ask your will in Jesus' name for the day. When you fuse Jesus in there, that lordship just expands. That is the back, is the um, being uh, being a spirit-filled Christian. Okay, taking that what you have, and you know, and when you ask God's will in Jesus' name concerning anything, giving thanks, and it is in a sense giving thanks because you're. You're doing the lordship thing, not because you have to, 
but you want to. Now, God gets upset with believers when they don't do it. It, it, it isn't a requirement to, to, to go to heaven. You can look in Corinthians and it says there are going to be some believers who 